Hi everyone! Um, some time ago I posted a video tutorial about how to create texture background like I did in this project uh, using Gesso. Uh, but in the previous video I didn't show you how to uh, put color on it after the Gesso dried. So uh, the technique that I use is very very simple but it's a little strange because I don't use any brush for this step. So I thought it was a good idea to make a new tutorial. Um, okay, let's stop talking and let's see how to make it. Okay, so let's put some color on this canvas. Uh, this is the canvas that I used for the previous video where I showed you how to create texture background using gesso. Uh, what you need for this step? Okay, of course you need the color that you want for the background and in this case I wanted to have a dark, dark blue background so I decided to use the Deco Art Americana Deep Midnight Blue and you also need an extender medium and this is also Americana and just because I want you to know um, this is a, an old bottle and right now the the labeling is different but the product is always the same and last but not the least you also need one and two pieces of fabric and this was an old t-shirt that I had that I just cut in pieces and I previously wet these pieces and then I squeezed the excess water so what am I gonna do now I'm going to fold one piece just like this and then I'm gonna put the second one like this and then I turn it just so I can make kind of ball like this so now I I previously put some some extender here and what am I gonna do I'm going to actually soak my bowl in the extender and I squeeze the excess a little bit then I take the color like this And I work it a little bit just to remove the excess and then I start with circular motion like this way and then I change the direction like this And of course you need to take some color again because the extender makes the, the color a little bit more fluid and not so, not so vibrant. So you need to reload your kind of ball again and again. And now you can see that the texture is actually coming to life. Like so. One way and then the other way. And yeah, for, for this step you really don't need to to be too precise or 
just keep going with a kind of kind of flow like this way and then the other way and don't forget the edges that you can just do like this and like this And you can finish your piece. I probably need a little bit more color here. Okay. And if you have some white spots, it's okay. I mean, you can leave them, they kind of give some some extra texture. Or if you want, you can just cover them like this. And don't forget to continue with your circular motion. Okay, so this is the first layer. Um, it will take probably about um, 15 20 minutes to dry so I think we can see you later guys okay so the first coat is now dry and we can go ahead with the second one um, for the second coat I decided to mix two different colors because uh, it's a little too light for the final result that I would like to to achieve so um, yes I decided to mix two colors uh, one is the um, deep midnight blue that I used for the first coat and the second one is a darker blue that's Prussian blue always by deco art americana and they are more or less mixed like half and half so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take my kind of ball again and i soak it again into the extended menu Then I take the color mix and I work it a little bit. Okay, just always make sure you don't have this going around, but just keep it inside your inside your hand. And then you start like rubbing again in circular motion one way and then the other way like so and of course you need to reload your ball whenever you can see that the color is is lighter you can see now that the color is darker because of course i mixed two different blues okay. and um Whenever you can feel that the flow is not fluid, I mean um, that the the ball doesn't doesn't go anymore, then you take some more some more medium and 
the color again. And you feel that you're not moving. And then you continue in one way and then you change direction and then always you can always go back in the section you did before because it's better to have a thinner layer and uh, maybe go ahead with another coat instead of having a thick layer of color so always better to stay light than, than heavy and then you can finish your piece Always make sure you have this inside your hand. And um, if for whatever reason uh, it seems to be too dark for you, what you need to do is just take a a clean piece of your fabric and then wipe the dark away okay this is why I have two different pieces of fabric because when I want I can always rebuild my bowl and then continue okay so also the second coat is almost dry and um, you can see the texture that's really showing very well also because of the contrast of the color um, if there are areas that you think are too light or too dark just don't worry because um, in my opinion it can also give more interest to the background and plus it's always a background I mean it doesn't have to be perfect because there's gonna be the main design on top so really don't worry um, yeah well um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have questions or if you have suggestions or there are other painting tutorials you would like to to watch um, just follow me and um, let me know if you have any comments bye ciao